That's my timer going off. Let me show you what I have in the oven. Hi, how are you doing? Just got a notification. Someone else is following me on Pinterest. But happy Sunday to you. I am here. And uh, let's see what's in the oven. You know, I bought a nice silicone gloves and stuff, but I'll still use my own towel. And these are nice, okay? And you might say, well, what is that? I'm going to tell you all about it. Just a minute. Let me um, move you back some so that you can take a look. This right here, these are beets, fresh beets. Hey, LaTanya, how are you doing? Fresh beets that I roasted. Hey, la la. La 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 la. La 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 la. So, yeah, I got some um, fresh. Hey, Diversity Love, how are you doing? Some fresh um, beets, and I washed them and then I cut them, but I cut them thinly to reduce. Hey, Angela, how are you doing? To reduce the cook time. These are shishuto um, peppers. Hey, K Renee. And so with the shishuto, of course they were rinsed. And then, <laughs> hey, G Mama, they were rinsed. And I put some avocado oil on all of this. Avocado oil, okay? It is a, a little more expensive than um, olive oil, but it is good for you. And I put some umami, which I'm going to show y'all. Now these peppers, you can use those as a snack. <laughs> or let's say you're noshing. This right here. Umami. We have different tastes, like sweet, sour, bitter, sweet, and we have umami. And it tastes as hearty and meaty. So I did want to share that with you. Now, these peppers aren't necessarily um, going into my salad, but you can just eat them. Avocado oil. I did do sea salt and some umami. And they are delicious. So, I do want to share with you that last night at 12 o'clock midnight, I ended my 10 day water fast. And for those who joined me when I was discussing my top 23 for the year 2023 on the health goals category, I had to do a 10 day water fast. So I didn't mention it last Sunday. I didn't, oh no, I didn't start it last Sunday. Well, when did I start it? Oh yeah, well, I didn't mention it last Sunday. Yeah, I was fasting last Sunday. But I didn't mention it. Um, I didn't mention it during my Wednesday live. But yes, I had no food for 10 days. I feel awesome. Time of spiritual enlightenment, clarity, and I'm just powerful. If you have never done, I'm not talking about a Daniel fast. I'm not talking about a fast for juicing. If you've never done a water fast, I would encourage you. You don't have to do 10 days. Matter of fact, I would recommend you not to go in strong and do a 10 day, but just do maybe um, a day or three days, right? Something like that. And just try it out, whatever. In the beginning, what you're going to feel is your body's going to be talking to you and toxins will be being released. Toxins are coming out of you. They'll come out in the form of headaches. They'll come out in the form of your breath your hygiene, whatever the case is. It depends on how many toxins and how much toxins you got in you, okay? 
Um, you may experience a lot of um, urination. You know, fat is being released from your body. It's gonna come out a couple. Uh, it's gonna come out some different ways. Either you sweat it, you excrete it, or you urinate it. So um, yeah, but when it's all said and done, guess what? It's good for your body and it's also good for yourself. Jesus admonishes us to fast as well as pray. Fast, fast, fast. Some people, you know, they um, do the Daniel fast. There's nothing wrong with the Daniel fast. If that's the level where your faith level is, then, you know, God will bless you where your faith, faith level is. But be obedient to the word fast, okay? I've done 30-day fast, but I was doing juice, you know, um, pure juice, not like juice, like, you know, you get from the concentrate or something in the store or whatever. I've done that maybe three times. And then um, I've done water fast. In my church, when I was growing up, we used to do a seven day fast and um, I was 15 and I really, 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 really wanted to do this fast. But um, in a couple of days, I was vomiting the bowel of my stomach. So my father pulled me off of the fast. So, so much for that. Thank you, Angela. I appreciate you. Congratulations. <laughs> anyway, you all. So coming off of the fast, you don't want to mess up your system. Your system is um, used to not having food and it has done a lot of clearing. For me, I dropped 10 pounds. Um, not saying that that's necessarily going to be your thing and that's not necessarily saying that that's what you should do it for, but it does give you, um, hey Lorenzo, how are you doing? It does give your body an opportunity to purge itself of those various toxins. There have um, been studies where people have done fasting and have been diagnosed with some terminal illnesses. And because they're, they did prolonged fasting, it turned around for them. I'm telling you, God knows all that there needs to be doing to, to take care of this body. Remember, he's the one that put it together. So, hey, hey, J3GS, how are you doing? Hey, Ruth, welcome. So I just wanted to let y'all know, if and when you have the opportunity, fast. Don't just pray, fast. There are certain type of strongholds that may be in operation in your life that it's going to take more than some praying. It's going to take some fasting to pull down them strongholds to break certain bondages and yokes. And it may not be over your life. It may be over your children, your grandchildren, your mother, your father, your friend, your neighbor, somebody who needs that type of deliverance, the bondage, yoke breaking, demonic presence, that type of thing. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. And if you need some healthy snacking options, these shochito peppers, mm are so delicious um roasted you can just eat them like that now i think i shared with you ruth says do i need to fast everywhere i have checked in today in the last couple of days they've been talking about fasting <laughs> hey i don't make this up might be your time sis <laughs> now these beets I am going to put the roasted fresh beets in my salad. Funny thing, growing up, did not like beets, okay? Didn't start liking beets till last year. And on that note, it was pickled beets. It wasn't roasted beets. Right in front of you, right now, I am tasting my first roasted beet. But I made it myself. <laughs> and it really tastes good. I added avocado oil and some sea salt. And I mean, it tastes good. As you grow, there might be some things that you didn't like or, you know, didn't have a taste for, but as you mature, maybe your taste buds have matured. And then there are certain things that it just isn't the case, like me and donuts. Do not give me a donuts. I could work at Krispy Kreme and not gain not one pound. Do you hear me? I do not like donuts. I do not like puff pastries. I do not want to clear. I don't, yeah, we're good. Yep, let's not do that. 
So, I also wanted to share with you, and not the vlog that I'm going to release probably tomorrow, but the vlog for this week, this Friday, I mean, this today, I made my first loose tea that I've ever made like in life because it was a gift for me for my birthday. And I wanted to share this with you. This tea smells absolutely delicious. And I think it's called Ceylon or Salon Black Tea Leaves, White Wine Grapes, Tea Blossoms, Marigold Petals, Corn Flowers, and Natural Champagne and Vanilla Flavors. Woo! Honey! This right here. And it was part of one of the um, birthday presents that I received from a friend, Vanetta. And yeah. Oh my goodness. So I made a cup of tea and I, and I walked you through that on the video that I recorded today. So let's get into what we're going to make today because as you see, I'm just now coming off of the past and there's just certain things. Thank you, Rue. Diversity love. Yes, I can smell it. Happy delicious. Yes. Um, you be careful of what you're putting into your diet. Okay. So, of course, I'm going to be eating clean. In addition to that, I'm also con concentrating on the health of my gut. So, you know, I was telling, I was having a conversation with my um, one of my sons, and I think it was the baby, the 19-year-old, and he was saying a lot of um, females his age just don't know how to cook. And I understand some of the moms don't know how to cook or the moms are working outside of the house. So when they come home, they're not here like, oh, well, let me teach you how to cook. It's like, here's the food. Let's keep it moving. This is like, you know, organization of business, snap, snap, snap. Whatever the case may be, whether you learned or didn't learn at home, there's no excuse. I told him, I said, the internet is for dummies. And I mean dummy in the best way possible. We all at some point are ignorant of something. But guess what? We have a tool. Now, some people may use it for a lot of different things, shopping or doing stuff they have no business doing. However, if you want to save you some coins and not be eating out all the time, go on YouTube, go somewhere, go on Instagram, go, there are just regular recipes that don't have videos, whatever it is, there's no reason for you not to learn at least five dishes that you're good at. Okay? peek a -boo. So, I'm researching, you know, just a healthy gut and it talks about fermented food and the benefits because the probiotics and this, that, this, that, the other. So I had kombucha before, but I didn't like the taste of it. It just tasted just disgusting to me and not saying that it still doesn't, but my baby son, who's all into this type of stuff, he recommended two brands and he also, and I'm just sharing this for the ones who drink kombucha because I don't know if I'm necessarily going to be all sold out on it but i'm going to drink this because it was buy one get one free at publix so publix holla at you girl Big boo. <laughs> but um it was this brand health aid and it tastes better than some of the other ones that i had before but this is what he taught me he said, mom, look at the back of the kombucha and see if it has like um, sparkling water or something like that added to it. Because he was like, that might be a cheaper one. And they didn't allow it to ferment. And the whole point of it is for you to have the fermented process for the probiotics. And, you know, so this is one of the ones that he recommended so i'm going to be drinking that so from time to time you may see me with something be like what in the world are you drinking dorsha not saying that i necessarily like it because the part about it that's really just rancid to me it is the vinegar like 
who wants to be drinking vinegar? Now, I know there's some people like, oh, I do a, a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Matter of fact, I have some apple cider vinegar for our salad dressing, one mother. But I'd rather just do a teaspoon of that than to um, be sitting up here with all of this. You know what I'm saying? And I know there are people who like, well, I got a friend that make it and it's so good. I'm like, honey, at the end of the day, every time I open it, it makes that popping noise. Woo! Woo! But that one is better than this other brand that I had, which was more expensive than this one. This was like three something, whatever. And then it was buy one, get one free at Publix. So if you have a Publix near you, you can go and get some. But that other brand, you can see all these like little seeds or something at the bottom. And I said, oh, this looks like this is going to be healthy. And da -da 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 -da. I didn't read anything on the back, whatever. It just looked like, oh, this might, this must be the one. What a waste of my money. And I promise you, it was a waste of my money. Sunday Backyard Farmer. What's going on, husband man? We should make our own kombucha this year. Yes, Sunday. If that's what the husband wants to do, that's what we should do. He's probably like, I'm not going to drink. It's going to be for you. <laughs> Let me tell you something. When I um, get like, hold on. When I get into something, like he supports me. And that's the beautiful thing of having um, a covering. So when I went to church today, Bishop Bronner, he was talking about um, a highlighter. The message was called highlights and highlights they um indicate you know things that are of importance this that the other and basically telling us that you know god will put highlights and stuff within our life whatever but we have to be in a position in order for the highlight to show or for us to be the highlight right so then he goes on to talk about the literal highlight and you know god could be using as a highlight but if you don't have the cover on it, then the highlight will lose its potency and therefore its purpose, this, that, the other. It's for us not to think that we're the highlight. God is the one whose hands we're in, you know? Like he's holding the highlight well, He and he covers us. And if we don't have a covering, then we won't be able to be of, of, of use. Well, eventually we'll razzle out, we'll lose our potency and then our purpose. And then here we are just here. Right. And he was talking about how the husband covers the wife and Christ covers the church. And there's not, there's not one person out there that doesn't need a covering. Only being that does not need a covering is God. So at that moment, I was like, praise the Lord. I thank God for my covering my husband. Because yes, I can make money, I can pay bills, I can do that provision part that most men, especially those who are principled and, and raised, you know, that way, know that yes, you are a provider, you know, but you can be, if you're a provider without being a protection, then therefore, you know, you're just a donor, you're a sponsor, right? It's like it comes all together to be able to have someone that has your best interests at heart and it's like, you know, like even when my husband husband isn't around me, I feel his presence. You know what I mean? Like one day someone inadvertently, I don't think they meant any harm, but he called me baby. And I was like, no, no, it's, it's Dorsha or, or Mrs., you know, but it, it, it's not, it's not baby. It, it's only baby. And he calls me baby. That's to my husband. My daddy is the only one that called me baby. But yeah. Yeah, those words are reserved, so now, but you can call me Dorsha or you can call me Mrs. Sunday Backyard Farmer, but what we're not going to do is call me baby because <laughs> I got a covering, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and to know that I have someone that, you know, will lay down his life for me. And if you're in a, a relationship and you're thinking about getting married and you're like with a guy that you know won't lay down his life for you then i'm telling you that's not your husband you may want him to be you can't make him be anything that he's not but he ain't not your husband okay pick a boo you don't want a roommate you want a husband <laughs> anyway so hey maria how are you doing thank you again for my card and my letter me and Maria are going to be pen pals. What do y'all know about pen pals? Back in the day, 
I still got letters from back in the day that people, we used to write each other, right? I think that's like a lost art form of just being able to write. Now it's like a text and then people are so abbreviated in their text that it's just like, okay, let's have a phone conversation, okay? <laughs> so we're going to make um, tuna salad, but it's not gonna be your regular tuna now because this is just door shell, okay? I mean, I can teach you how to make some regular tuna salad, but we're not doing that, right? And then I don't want any mayonnaise or anything like that in my system after having completed this 10-day fast. So, voila! We have ahi tuna steaks. And I'm going to show you how you can prepare these but they don't have to be just for this salad. You can prepare them the way that I'm getting ready to show you. And that could be your meat, um, your protein for your meal. And then you can do whatever you want to do on the side. But I do want, hey, God's Construction, how are you doing? Amen. <laughs> I do want to show you what it looks like. And I told you they have them at Walmart. They also have them at Sam's. Mmm. Ahi tuna steaks. Holla. Holla. There you go, people. Premium wild caught. Not farm raised. Now, I do want you to keep in mind everything that says uh, wild and all of that isn't necessarily that. And I learned that most recently on a trip to um, Walmart because I was buying some salmon and it said wild. And then when I looked up closer, it said farm raised. So if you're into that type of thing, just pay attention. But this is wild caught. So we have that. Okay. I have some spring mix right here, just waiting for us. And then I have Italian, Italian mix. Italian mix is romaine with some shredded carrots and purple cabbage, okay? And that's it. I don't even know why they call it Italian. I do have some apples, red onion, avocado, tomatoes, and the beets. And I'm going to wash my hands. And we're going to get to it. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready for this? And we're going to... Oh, that, that salad about to be fire! <laughs> now, you can do whatever you want to do with salads. You know, sometimes I add vegetable. I mean, I can add, you know, other vegetables like fresh broccoli. If I add um, peppers, I will cut the peppers and I will flash fry them to soften them a little bit and it releases some of the, the flavors, right? I don't want crunch, crunch, crunch. But if you're a crunch, crunch, crunch person, hey, Sharice, how are you doing? Hola, como esta? I mean, you know, but I'm just telling you what I do. And so I can add mandarin, apples, grapes, berries, whatever. Some people don't like fruit in their salad. I love fruit in my salad. So today I will be adding slivers of the apples inside which is also an excellent source of pro uh fiber it's like i'm being intentional right my deep green leafy vegetables and the fiber and so i wanted to share that with you now let's talk about what we're going to be doing with this tuna and i'm going to bring y'all down so y'all can see but for those who are just now joining I do want you to see that I roasted these shishuto um, peppers. Shishuto peppers. Um, they're just good to snack on. Avocado oil, umami. Yeah, so good. And y'all know I just ended this 10 day water fast, so 
But here are the roasted beets that I will be using. I actually had beets growing in my backyard. And if there's any gardeners in here, when the top part of the beets, when it died because of the frost, well, I know they're root vegetables, but does that mean if they don't have the green part that's growing outside of the ground, does it mean that the growth stops inside? Because I'm thinking maybe not. So yeah, but I had beets growing, Detroit red beets. Oh yeah, growing up. Oh my goodness, those peppers are absolutely delicious. So let me bring you down. And I'm also going to show you how I would um, serve this salad because it wouldn't be one of those deals where, oh, let's put it in a big salad bowl and everyone just come and get their portions. With salads like this, you want to prepare the portions for everyone because you could have some people that be like, let me take some extra um, meat. Like if you're adding fish or you could be adding beef or chicken or whatever, and then here they are grabbing. I'm also going to add some... I'm glad that I'm sitting here talking to you. I'm also going to add some um, blue cheese crumble. If you don't like blue cheese, a feta would also be a good um, addition to this. So let us, let me bring you down so you can see what I'm doing. And um, show you how I'm working this out. Now, It comes in a pack. I took it out of the pack. I rinsed it off. I'm patting this dry just a little bit. There's nothing wrong with it having a moisture to it. I just don't want too much of the, the liquid. And I'm gonna start with onion powder. Um, be very liberal when coating your food. And I'm going to do some garlic. And I'm going to do some smoked paprika. Smoked paprika. And I need my pepper. Where's my pepper? I want the other pepper. Ground pepper. pepper. Now, I have this in here, but I want you to see tri-color sesame, okay? Take it, flip it, take it, flip it, flip it, and repeat. Onion. And it's okay if it's getting on the plate. You'll see how that'll work out to your favor later. Garlic. Smoked paprika. Pepper. You're like, oh, it's getting all on the plate. We're gonna need that. Because we're going to make sure that it's covered. You see that? That's what we want. Yes, coat it well.
Now we're going to go over to the skillet. I'm going to bring you over here and some olive oil. Come on, people. Hey. I'm going to have this high. I'm adding olive oil. Now, if I wasn't um, doing this for my salad, I would add some butter as well because it would really just be the fish that I'm, I'm cooking as the main protein source for the meal. And it'd just be a little more flavorful. So, we're gonna get that nice and hot. While that is getting ready, I do want to share with you about cooking it. It's two to five, two to five minutes aside. I've never made tuna with ahi tuna. Okay, hey Alana. Everyone say hello to Alana. Yeah, so two to five minutes and like steps, I mean not steps, steak. You can have different temperatures. Some people like theirs rare, so they're only gonna do it maybe like less than a minute on all the sides, right? And then when they cut it, it's gonna be pink in the middle. I'm not really a fan of anything like um, even semi-rare, you know what I mean? Like I'm good on blood. Mm, anyway, but um, it, it, it's not like really, really, really bad. You know what I mean? Like you'll be okay. It, it won't harm you. Nothing's going to happen to you. You know, it's, it's just a preference and some people like it that way. Mine is going to be more so well done. <laughs> Medium well, well done. Okay, so here we go. Let's go over here. And there you have it. I'm, I'm cooking my um, flame is pretty high. And because this is thick and the flame is high, Right now I have it between four and five, but you want to make sure that you are searing your sesame on there. And I'm gonna let that cook. And yeah. You could do um, a glaze with this with some soy sauce, teriyaki, some myron. Yeah, it's like, what is myron? Or myron. Do I have some? Let me see. I have some. I don't know where it is. Oh, here it is. Make sure you have some of this. When you make um like teriyaki sauce and stuff, this is what's in it. It's not just that teriyaki sauce that, that you buy. 
and you want to make a nice teriyaki glaze, you need some of that. I also turned mine to cook this way. Now, you see this paint? Like, a lot of people will take theirs out right now because the inside is basically like that and that's what they like. But I'm not going to do that. But this is a nice flaky fish. And it is really delicious. You don't get a lot in a packet. And this was about $8, $7 and some change. So let's just round it to 8 But it is a, a nice substitute instead of having salmon or whiting, catfish, or cod, flounder. Um, fry, ahi tuna, um, mahi mahi and grouper they're all in the same section at walmart and it's a nice little treat okay and it actually smells good for some reason i don't even know why it smells good but yeah it's just doing what it did and that's it. That's all I'm going to cook it. That's all we need. It should be medium. Well. If not well. And I remove it from the heat. So that was that. So if you're not used to making ahi tuna. Hey, add that. What y'all talking about? Looks good. Thank you, Diversity Love. Add that to your repertoire. Now, let's get into this salad. So making a salad like this, I got salad in here. I don't know how, the little purple salad. But anyway, plate it. You're adding uh, protein. This just so happens to be ahi tuna that you've never had before. So presentation is everything. Let's make it look nice, okay? So these are bowls. I got them off of Amazon. They're not expensive, but I have several of them. So if I were ser serving, like if the meal was chili or if the meal was um, gumbo or if it was red beans and rice, that was the meal, then it would go in here but it can also be a salad dish. So let's start with the romaine lettuce, which isn't the necessary sexy lettuce <laughs> at all, but we're gonna put that on the bottom. And let me bring you down so you can see. You're going down. There you go. Break some of these big pieces up if you can, okay? And I don't like the veiny part right there, so. Get some of this, put it in there. Now, put your green leafy from your spring mix on top. Get some of that purple, let that purple come through. It's the purple for me, you know what I'm saying? So we have that. And so while we're dealing with the greens, let's keep it green. Won't for right now, and let's get into our avocado. Hopefully, 
this is ripe enough and it's not too ripe. When they're too ripe, they are brown. I just wish, right? <laughs> you're like, Dorsha, just put it in the dirt. I don't know if it works like that, but uh, we'll see. I'm gonna take a spoon. I'm gonna go around and around and around. There you go, pick a boo. And this one was so small. Normally, I can just put my knife blade in there and it'll take the um, the seed out, but it was so small. So, we're going to cut it in slices like this. Each person will get a half. Yes. Now, and this is for me. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. It tastes delicious. <laughs> Let me wipe this off. Now, so here you have it. Maybe move y'all back a little bit. Now let's start adding some color. These are already rinsed, okay? We're not gonna add them whole. Do yourself a favor. Don't add little cherry tomatoes whole to your salad. Go ahead and release that juice. But we're going to do different colors. We need to add some color to this salad. We do not want a boring salad, okay? No boring salad. We have orange and we have yellow. You're just like, Dorsha is not that serious. I just whip it all together. Yeah, but that's not what we're doing. That's not fun. We want this to look nice. So you see our nice little tomatoes. We're going to take these. And add them to the salad. And if you don't like tomatoes, then, you know, of course. Hello. <laughs> but if someone in your house likes them, okay, that part. Sunday actually grew some um, super sweets. That's what they were called, tomatoes. And let me tell you something. When I tell you, those things were absolutely Delicious, delicioso. Yes, they were. I promise you. See that purple serves as a nice backdrop for that. Okay. Now let's get us one apple. Let me clean this. Now, you could leave the skin on. But I'm not. I really just want the flesh of the apple showing. Kind of pops out. Mm. 
but you can leave the flesh on if you want to. You can do whatever you like. And I got just a bag of apples because I'm just gonna, you know, be consuming a lot of apples for different reasons. I might take some and put them in to some Greek yogurt. But with the apples, I'm dicing them. And these flavors are going to work well together. The apple, outside of adding fiber, because <laughs> these are these are our croutons, people. These are our croutons. Our croutons are apples. Okay. <laughs> they actually add um, sweetness as well. And I'm hungry. Y'all know I'm hungry. Our salad. Those coming together. Once again, you don't have to do this part if you don't like onion. I probably will not add this to my husband's salad, but I like raw onion and especially red. But it's just going to be slivers of it, okay? And when I say slivers, this is what I mean. Let's see which one is going to be mine. tuna see that that is medium well but I'm going to take it, I'm going to put it there on his, but I'm also going to taste this. Oh my God, that was delicious. Mm -mm. Well, I could put that on there, but I'm going to taste that. Mm. Now, only difference is this has this, right? Blue cheese or feta. Hey! <laughs> Hey, Black Tropical Homestead. Hey, Miss Shirley. How are y'all doing? Now, these are crumbles. So let's make sure. Some of these crumbles are big. Hmm. But we don't want them too big. That's why I'm making sure to re-crumble with my hands. Oh, 
I wish you could smell this. <laughs> I wish you could smell this. Oh my goodness. And let me take one crumble. <laughs> Y'all like Dorsha. Stop eating. Okay. Here are the roasted beets. And we top this off. Mm. With our fresh roasted beets. Oh my God. <laughs> this is so good. Mmm. <laughs> If you wanted to, you could put some crushed um, praline pecans in them. <laughs> but, see, it's colorful. Now, I hope y'all got something out of that. Now, do you see why I said do not just put this in a big salad bowl? Because what will happen is some people are going to be a little greedy and they're going to take some things that they like more than others and they're going to take this from there, take this from there, take that from there. And then when the late hunger, like me, we'll just be left with this. Or left with this. And it's like, well, where's the rest of the, the, the deliciousness? Yeah, they got to it. So... <laughs> Now let's get into our um, homemade salad dressing, which I wanted. Um, I thought I had some Dijon mustard. <laughs> Thank you, Latanya. <laughs> Black Tropical said that would be me. So, but I don't have the Dijon mustard. And of course you don't have to make your own but I did want to make one. Um, not necessarily a recipe, but once you get into the habit of making your own, man, I'm telling y'all, make these. And shout out to Alana, because Alana made some for me at her home and she put the umami on it and roasted it. Shishito. Oh my God. It's just so good. Delicious. So I'm gonna move these out the way. So we can go into the salad dressing that I'm gonna make up on the spot. Now you can do um, mayonnaise um, based salad dressing, but I'm not. I am doing salad dressings that are based in either balsamic, balsamic vinegar. You don't have to use this brand. Or apple cider vinegar. Or both. Olive oil. I'm going to be using some um, maple syrup, but you can also use some honey or agave. And I have what's called sweet soy sauce, and it's, it's, it's different, and it's thicker than regular sauce. <laughs> mm. It's soy sauce, but it is thicker. So, I also have some minced garlic. Hey! 
motivation from the weightlifting geek hey what's going on dorsha don't toss the app scraps make your acv honey are you are you coming up here because um they already tossed <laughs> but duly noted for um the rest of the week while i'm munching on my apples So here's the thing with salad. The lighter it is, probably the less nutritional value. I'm here for some tuna salad. <laughs> ah, well, here, 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 here's your tuna salad. Here's your tuna salad, brother. The tuna's in the middle. It's ahi tuna. It was pan seared. I roasted some um, fresh beets. Here's some avocado. Here's some chopped apples, which will serve as your croutons. And here are multicolored cherry um, tomatoes. I have some slivers of onion, red onion. And um, yeah, we have uh, romaine lettuce, purple ca cabbage, and spring mix. There you go. Literally, tuna salad. Peekaboo! Ah, that looks so delicious. Yeah, literally, um, tuna fish salad. So, but I did want to share with you something that I found on Pinterest. If you are not um, comfortable with making your own salad dressings or you need some help um, because what I'm about to do, I'm going to have to wing it, but, you know, and I'm going to share it with you as I'm winging it. However, if you want to make an apple cider um, vinaigrette, I'm doing great. Oh, okay, not talking to me. Use some apple cider. Not, I'm not um, talking about the apple cider vin vinegar. I'm talking about apple cider juice. Some vinegar, regular vinegar, olive oil, Dijon mustard, minced garlic, salt, and pepper. That's it. Balsam balsamic um, vinaigrette. Is balsamic vinegar, olive oil, maple syrup, Dijon mustard, minced garlic, salt and pepper. Raspberry vinaigrette, raspberries, lemon juice, apple cider, apple cider vinegar, and honey. Honey mustard, olive oil, lemon juice, apple cider vinegar, honey, Dijon mustard. Nut butter. What is nut butter? But um, yeah, um, I let y'all up. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> like nut butter. It's like not peanut butter, but nut butter. I don't know. Nut butter, soy sauce, honey, apple cider vinegar, minced garlic, and fresh ginger. Creamy avocado. Avocado, lime juice, olive oil, cilantro, minced garlic, cumin, and salt and pepper. That was just so helpful. You see that? Yes. Go on my Pinterest, and I have it pinned. And um, you can have it. Y'all know I'm hungry. You don't know what nut butter is? Me either. Anyone in the chat, if you're looking at this and you're not in the chat, come to the chat because the chat is where it's at. And maybe you'll meet a new friend or even an internet cousin. I'm just saying. I'm glad Black Tropical Homestead is here. Um, by a show of hands in the chat, who's coming to the Soil Family Expo? We are so excited. Sunday and I, we have our hotel and we are ready like almond or cashew butter oh okay of course my friend alana she is a health nerd so she would know she would know that's all i'm gonna say everyone you got any more questions ask alana and then if you need anything as far as illnesses or sickness go to sheree's apothecary yes that's sheree from black tropical homestead because i'm sure she has something that will cure whatever you got, Ellen. And I'm not even joking. <clears throat> so, for this salad dressing, I'm going to start here. But you know what? Let, let, let me reserve my energy. So I'm not. 
I'm just gonna put it in a small mason jar and we're gonna rock and roll, save myself. Well, really save Sunday from him having to clean. So I'm thinking something like kind of like Asian, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. I definitely know I'm going to use this. Well, I might do two. So let me let me get another one. <laughs> ah, this is so fun. Messing around with y'all in my kitchen. This is going to be fun. But whatever we do, we're going to start. So one, I'm going to start with apple cider vinegar. And then the other one, I'm going to do my other base which is, let me move this out the way. Oh, and I, and I definitely want some minced garlic in one of them. Okay, well here we go, people. Dun, 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 dun. Shake it up, shake it up. Okay, let's start with some balsamic vinegar. Put some of that. And then in this one. All right. All right. Let me think. Well, we definitely need the olive oil. Uh oh. What in the world? Sherry, why? Why Sherry is here? What in the world? You know how the things come off? The thing come out and it's supposed to pull out? Well, it didn't do it, y'all. Now how am I supposed to get it open? Let me see. Let me see what I can do. This is when I need my husband. Husband, come home. No, <laughs> come here. I need you. Oh, man. Let's see if I have some olive oil left over here. Yes, I do. But I only have a little bit. Now I got to make up my mind what I'm going to do. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. I still want that other one open. Nobody got no time for no wasting no extra virgin olive oil. So let's pour this one in here. A little bit more. We're doing equal parts. Yeah, that'll work. And this one is gone. Here and put some garlic. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add the soy sauce to this one. And I'm gonna add the maple syrup to this one. Hey, and that is great value. Walmart, holla at your girl. Now, A little bit of pepper. All right. Let's see.
All right. Let me lift this up so you can get my honest reaction. Let's see. What did I put in this? This tastes good. Oh my goodness. Honey. Oh my goodness. What did I put in there? What did I put in here? Wait a minute. Do y'all remember? <laughs> Mmm. This one right here. This one will be going on my salad tonight. I don't remember. What, what did I put? <laughs> Wait a minute. I put this. This. And what else? This. Oh, and the olive oil. That was it. It's the sweet soy sauce for me. Okay. Let's get to this one. This one probably be really good if I had some Dijon mustard, but I don't, but let's see. Let me put a little bit more apple cider vinegar in it. And a little bit more maple syrup. And I think we might have something. Woo, honey. Let's, let's give it another shake. Shake it on Dorsha. Shake it on Dorsha. Twist and shout. Twist and shout. Come on, come on, come on, Dorsha now. Come on, Dorsha. Work it on now. Work it on out. Okay, okay. Yeah. Let's see what we got going on. Mmm. So, here's the deal. <laughs> Very simple. Y'all saw I just made these up on the spot. The bottom line is you're going to need a base. <clears throat> One had balsamic, balsamic vinegar. <laughs> vinegar. I'm reading the chat. And the other one had apple cider vinegar. Then I added sweet soy sauce. And for this one, I added maple syrup. They both have extra virgin olive oil, Walmart, holla at you girl. And both have minced garlic. And it's a wrap. I mean, that was just very simple. Pour that on your tuna salad. And hey, we're all about the healthy, light, clean eating. Okay? I know I am. I'm here for it. So, as y'all know, I just came off my 10-day water fast. Yes, 10 days, no food. To God be the glory. So I won't be buying salad dressing anymore. <laughs> Yes, and the black pepper. Thank you, God's construction. And I mean, that, that it was very simple. And um, I literally have to say that all of this stuff I already had here that I made the salad dressing with. So you don't have, you know, if you keep balsamic um, vinegar, um, apple cider vinegar, ACD. Um, now, you may not have the sweet soy sauce, but I think you should invest in some. It's good because this year we will also be making some Asian dish, dishes as well. And they're going to call for them. So that's all I have for today. Thank y'all so much for joining me. And um, yeah, if you like this, like it. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell so that you will know when new content is uploaded. And I will be live on Wednesday. Yes, um, I think I may have done my thumbnail. I'm, I'm really just trying to get myself together. You hear me? I have, I'm so glad that we have a holiday tomorrow. 
So for those who don't know, tomorrow's Martin Luther King, King Day, all governments are closed and the banks. So peekaboo, mm, okay? And I was like, thank God for my good government job, okay? And Alana said, amen, okay? But yeah, so I will see you on Wednesday at seven o'clock. <laughs> we enjoyed the meal in the community. Y'all take care. And I am going to um, pray, pray us out of here. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing you next Sunday, which I already know what I'm making next Sunday. And I already did the thumbnail. So it's just in the queue. Cause this year I'm going to have the content in the queue. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm working on some things. So Father God, in the name of Jesus, thank you for this day and yet another opportunity to live, love, and serve you. We thank you, God, as we go forth through this week. No hurt, harm, or danger will come near our dwelling, but we thank you that there will be opportunities to let our light shine and our good works so that people will see what we're doing and glorify our Father that's in heaven. Now, everyone who's at the sound of my voice, Lord, if they need to hear a word from you, send it through a vessel. If they need, if they need a confirmation, send it through a vessel. But Lord, also let them be receptive because sometimes the message may not be what they need, what they want to hear, but it's what they need to hear. And we thank you that we will hear what thus saith the Lord. So keep us until our next time of seeing one another out here in these YouTube and your streets. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. And amen. Amen and amen. Amen. La, 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 la. Yes, so for all of those who don't know, um, I have a subscriber. Her name is Lala. And when I see Lala's name, it makes me want to sing the song by Minnie Rippleton. La, 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 loving you is easy because you're beautiful. So just in case you're just like, why is this lady like she got Tourette's or something? No, it's just that when I see her name, it makes me want to sing. Okay. Anyway, peace and blessings. I will see y'all in these YouTube streets. Bye-bye.